Good morning, faculty, family, friends, and fellow graduates. It's an honor to be standing here in front of you all today on a Sunday in the morning. You know, I'm pretty sure this is the earliest any of us college kids have been awake all year. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's exciting to see all of us in our graduation gowns ready to accept a diploma and head out into whatever awaits us next. For me, this has been a time of reflection. I remember coming into college with an undeclared major and having no clue what the future had in store for me. I saw this major called computer science and was curious about what it was. For those family members and friends who have no idea, don't worry, I'm about to break it all down for you. <clears throat> According to Webster's, it is a branch of science that deals with a theory of computation or the design of computers. But I feel like it's so much more than that. Computer science is about problem solving and abstraction. It's about using tools like computers to carry out computations and exploring patterns that exist in the world around us. It's about learning how to collaborate with a group of people to do a research project and combining the different ways in which we all think to create one solid program. It's about being creative. You know, we're not just sitting in a poorly lit room typing away on our laptops like you might have seen in the movies. We're actually sitting in a really well lit room typing away on our laptops. Graduates, I want us all to think back to when we were sitting in Dr. Sullivan's Intro to Computer Science course, eager to learn Java, back when the course was taught in Java. Some of us had had previous coding experience, and others, like me, had no idea what we were doing. I recall writing my first program ever, and all it did was print, hello world. But this was fantastic, and the program didn't even crash. And next, we stepped into Professor Snyder's data structures course, and after the previous class, we felt good about ourselves because we could write programs and be rock stars. And Professor Snyder, with the copious free time that he has, taught us some fundamental concepts, and we built games like Connect Four. Okay, now we felt like we really knew what we were doing. But then came computer systems with Professor Apavu. Little did I know that in computer science, we would learn vocabulary words. Because in that class, I learned what the word pedantic means, especially when working on 6502. In computer science, we actually use this website called Piazza. Students can post questions about a certain class, and instructors or other students can respond. Really, we'd use this website because Stack Overflow can only help so much. So, in programming languages with Dr. Lepetz, we gathered around to see how quickly he would answer a question. I think the shortest response time was around a minute. So that's right, folks. At any time of day, our instructor could answer a question, and across all 24 hours, his average response time was a minute. That's true dedication to teaching. And we also took algorithms together. And I think one of the most important things we learned was how to spell Dijkstra. D-I-J? OK, I'll just ask Siri later. In one of the last few courses we all share in common is CS350 with Professor Bestabros. This class was by far the heaviest workload. We'd submit an assignment only to realize that the next one was already posted. And then there were these crazy things called semaphores, and debugging our programs took longer than actually writing it. This class, however, really boosted our self-esteem. You come out the end feeling confident in your programming abilities, just confident enough to try taking some graduate level classes. We tried out subjects like cryptography, machine learning, data mining, operating systems, and so many more. And in the end, we learned one thing. Computer science is hard. There's always more, more to learn and more room to grow. And I think this lesson also applies to other aspects of our lives, but I know that our professors have taught us well. Another aspect that I've been reflecting on is the fact that I made friends. Friends that share the same nerdy passion for CS as I do. Friends that don't mind staying up all hours just to keep trying to solve that one really hard problem. And friends that care enough to use their meal plans and get us all pizza. We built this wonderful community in computer science, and our hangout space became the CS undergrad lab. It was not only a space for learning, um, but also a space to unwind after a tough problem set. In fact, I remember one night just hanging out in the lab and eating chocolate pretzels as I caught up on Grey's Anatomy. You know, doing the important things, even though you're not technically supposed to eat in the lab. Oops. 
At this point in my speech, I think it's time I started doling out advice. But I'm 21 years old. What advice can I give you? I still get my parents to help me out with adult things like taxes and how long leftovers should be heated in the microwave. There's a sobering thought, though. We are adults now. We're graduating from university, and some of us are off to start jobs in the real world, and others are going on to further educate themselves. As we look ahead to the future, I want us all to make some promises to ourselves and to each other. First, we should promise to embrace our curiosity. That's what got us all where we are today. We one day decided to try out this thing called computer science and found a unique passion for it. If we continue to try new things, then we'll continue to find things we're passionate about. Second, we should promise to savor all our friendships. I'm not saying that we'll all still be as close as we are five years or even one year from now, but just because we don't all live in the same city doesn't mean that we can't be friends. If we're Facebook friends, it's done. We're Facebook official. But really, we went through a four-year journey together, and we helped shape each other into the people we've become and will become. I wish nothing but the best for everyone, and the chance to catch up and see where life has taken you is one I can't miss out on. Really, though, I'm also expecting a wedding invitation for all of your weddings, if you decide to get married and whenever that happens. Lastly, we should promise to remember that work isn't everything. We've been in school for about 17 years. We're only used to the academic system of having homework and tests and projects, and we've always had a next goal. The goal in elementary school was to get to middle school, and then to high school, and then to college, and now what? The majority of our lives has been about doing work, so let's not make our entire life a Rihanna song. With all of this in mind, yeah, laugh, that was funny. Um, with all of this in mind, I want to say congratulations to all of us for making it this far, and let's all look forward to the new places, new friendships, and new experiences coming our way. Congrats.